a strange mark on your skin and wondered if it was harmless or if you should see a professional? Well, a local dermatologist is telling us how you should conduct self-exams and when you should be concerned. 1011 Chanel Taylor McCarthy is joining us live at a CHI health clinic with more. Good morning, Chanel Taylor. Yeah, guys, we're back with Dr. Tyler Evans, and we're in the Mohs Surgery Lab where doctors can take a closer look at cancer, skin cancer. So can you talk a little bit about what people should be looking for when they're doing skin checks to, you know, be able to come into the doctor? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, really after the age of 50, we recommend at least getting a baseline or annual skin check. Um, and when we talk about skin cancer, there's really there's two types of skin cancer. There's melanoma or mold, skin cancer of bad moles and non-melanoma skin cancers. And here in the Mohs Surgery Lab, we do a lot of um, surgery for the non-melanoma skin cancers. And for those things you should be looking for, are new bumps on your skin, especially in high sun areas like the head and neck, things that aren't healing, bleeding, just not going away, things we wanna check out. And then as far as melanoma goes, there's a couple set of rules we always look for in new or changing moles. And I'll have our new nurse practitioner, Stacy, kind of go over some of those with you. So when we're looking at these, you're looking at asymmetry, so making sure that both sides are the same. Um, irregular borders, color, if there, there is multiple different colors, that's not a good sign. Diameter, so six millimeters, um, which is about the size of a pencil eraser. And if anything, it is evolving, so changing, those are all things that you would want to come in and see us for. Yes.